Hello everyone, this is Alexander from Galileo Sky. We started a series of shotgun pro videos to master the CAN scanner tool. You'll understand how to find any data of the CAN bus of any vehicle and transfer it to the server. We'll start from very basics about the CAN bus. We'll talk about the features of data searching with different protocols. After that, we'll move on to the advanced solutions analysis. CAN scanner is a powerful tool for searching any CAN data of any vehicle. Using this tool, you can monitor equipment, set up a flexible echo driving system and control a car remotely. How to get the tool? It's a piece of cake. All Galileo Sky devices from OBD2 to the new 7X line support CAN scanner. Before we start using CAN scanner, I'll tell you how the CAN bus works, what are the ways to connect to it and show what data we will work with. It's a network of several vehicle nodes or CAN controllers connected by a twisted pair. Have a look! In other words, it is two wires which are called CAN H high and CAN L low. All vehicle electronics is connected to them. This is called the CAN bus. Unlike other transmission networks and large data packets, the CAN network contains many short messages such as temperature, engine speed, oil pressure and others. Due to the fact that CAN bus contains short messages only, they are easier to find, to decode and send them to the server. Because the large number of short messages in modern vehicles, there can be several CAN bus streamlines. They can be slow and fast, have different data transmission speed and contain more or less important messages. Have a look at them. Engine CAN bus or fast bus. It provides connection between engine and transmission control units. Comfort bus or slow bus. This is the network that provides connection with temperature sensors, seat heating and other peripherals. Remember that on some vehicles the Comfort Bus has a common twisted cable with Fast Bus. However, on other brands these streamlines are separate. The Infotainment CAN Bus or Slow Bus is used for communication between multimedia and navigation systems. They are not important for car safety and driving performance of the vehicle. It doesn't matter the CAN Bus is slow or fast. We can find parameters in each one, but in case it works at the needed speed. I'll tell you about this later. So, how to connect to the CAN bus? You can connect to OBD2. This is the easiest way. But if OBD2 is not connected to the CAN bus or is absent at a specific car, then connect to the CAN bus directly. To do this, find the CAN twisted pair under the dashboard and connect to CAN H and CAN L wires. Pay attention that sometimes it is necessary to install a 120 ohm resistor on the tracker side. Another way is to connect via Nikon or CAN Crocodile contactless readers. This is the safest way to connect as readers don't damage wires installation and don't interfere with vehicle warranty service. With their help you can read any CAN bus messages. But you can send requests and commands only if connected directly. Additionally, to search data, remember that parameters are transmitted at different speeds. 50, 83, 100, 125, 250, 500 and 1000 kilobits per second. Moreover, they have their own package structure. Have a look at the package structure. Identifier field and data field are the most interesting for us, as this is the data that we will work with. One packet, or is also called as identifier, contain up to 8 bytes of information. There are a lot of such identifiers in one CAN bus. Necessary parameters in them can be either in one bit or in several bytes. You have to remember this. We showed an example of how data packets look like. During the course, we'll refer to this information several times. But, in order to become pro in Canvas projects, it's important to know how data is transmitted. CAN data can be transmitted according to Unified World Standard Protocols, J1939 or J1979. They help to search and decode parameters. However, these protocols are optional and car manufacturers may use any other. That's all for today. In the next video, I'll tell about Galileo Sky features in working with CAN. See you soon. Goodbye.